Hey, Divi Nation, thanks for stopping by our documentation section to learn all about one of Divi's most powerful features, the Divi Library. So the Divi Library allows you to save full page layouts, individual sections, rows, or modules to your library and reuse them throughout your site, export them onto other sites, or import ones created by yourself on another install or by somebody else. So this has massive implications for everyone from brand new beginners who want to install, or rather import and upload um, layouts or modules or sections designed by professionals or professionals who want to sell theirs to the community. It also just helps make your life a lot easier as you create content and reuse it throughout your site. And we're gonna show you how to do all that in this video. Check it out. In this video, I'll be giving a basic overview of the Divi library. Now the Divi library is really your ultimate web design toolkit. Here you can store your favorite layouts, sections, rows, or modules. Basically all the elements that you need to build a website, you can save it here for later use. So whenever you save an item to your Divi library, you can access it, that very same item, from within your builder when you're designing your page. So it's really convenient. So if you've ever find yourself repeating the same process, like design process over and over again, chances are you're missing out on the full power of the builder and this Divi library. So if you take advantage of this Divi library, you'll save yourselves hours of design time. Now the Divi library is more than just a collection of saved layouts. Actually, each library item can also be made global. And what that means is that it can be synced and mirrored wherever they're placed. So if you have a global module, whenever that global module is altered or changed, the settings that is, it updates automatically on all the pages you've added it to. So in a sense then, Divi becomes more than just a single page builder, then it also becomes a website builder. So spanning across all the pages at once whenever you alter a global module. So it's really, really powerful stuff. Let's go ahead and get in here and take a closer look at the Divi library. Um, to find the Divi library, you can go to your WordPress dashboard here. And you can see that under the Divi section in your sidebar, you'll see that at the, at the last link here, Divi library, and click on it. Once you're there, you'll see something similar to this. And this is where all of your different library items are stored in the back end. Um, you can also access all of these from within the visual builder when actually you're building your page. But if you wanted to come back here and see all of them and maybe edit them or actually go up here and export or import your uh, layouts from this page, it might be a good idea to do it, especially if you're trying to export all of them at once. Um, as you're building your library um, over the course of your career, um, you can, uh, it's a good idea to import all of them here, add to it, and then export it out again. So it's a good uh, place to go to do that. If you notice, I have a place to manage the categories of my layouts here. Uh, right now, I have uh, one category called home page added. Um, this is uh, helpful whenever you start building your um, up a lot of items here. Obviously, you would want to start categorizing them. Um, like any good library, it needs to be organized. Uh, let's see. Currently, I only have three things in my Divi library that I've added, and they're all layouts and they're all landing page layouts. Now let's go ahead and add a few more items to our Divi library. Um, I'm using the Visual Builder and I am on one of my landing pages here and I've, let's say I really love this section here. It's a common section to be found under your slider or header up here. It's a blurb section with all your featured items. And let's say you wanted to save this whole entire section to be used uh, either maybe later on down the page uh, to showcase more items or on a whole other page. Um, 
in your website. So it's very easy to, to save this to your library. Sim simply hover over the section. You know that it's a section because it's highlighted in blue. It's actually a regular section. Uh, and so I'll come over to my menu here and select this icon, Save Section to Library. Once that happens, you'll see a box pop up and it says template name. So I would give it a name. I'll call it um, blurb section. And let's say um, I want to give it an, uh, a category. I could. I'm not going to give it a uh, it has an option here to save it as a global item. I'm not going to do that at this time, but I'll show you uh, that a little bit later. And then I could add this category to it. Um, maybe I have a category for all of my homepage items. Uh, so I can click on that. Uh, I'll also have an option here to create a new category. I'm not going to do that right now and I'm ready. I'll just click save to library. Now uh, I'll go back to my layouts here, my layout library on the back end. Refresh and you'll see it pop up up there. Uh, blurb section, there it is with my new layout type it's a section now not a full layout but a section and you see it has a category over here um, let's go ahead and go back uh, to add a row it's very similar right so you hover over your row you know it's a row because it's highlighted in green let's say I really like this row um, and I want to be able to use it, all the items in the row uh, on other parts of my page to kind of jump start, you know, building my blurbs. Uh, so I'll go hover over it, click on save to library. I'll call this one blurb row. Um, and go ahead and save that to my library refresh and you'll see pop up right there now my new layout type is a row instead of a section uh, just to see just to show uh, what is actually being saved if I go to click on this item to edit it uh, you'll see only that row shows up there all right let's go back and let's go ahead and hover over one of my individual blurbs here let's say I have just one and this doesn't just apply for blurb modules, but any module within the Divi Builder or with on your site, you can actually save to your library to be used later on. So, for instance, I have some uh, some of these toggle uh, modules here, and uh, so if I wanted to um, save one of these to the library, I could as well. I like maybe I like the style of this toggle and I don't want to have to recreate that later on maybe I spend a whole lot of time on it so uh, it's a good idea to save it let's go ahead and save that let's go over here and and let's save this blurb blurb module save that so I should have two more things added two more modules added here yeah, there you go. My blur module and my toggle module have been added to my Divi library. And now I have all four types represented here. Layout, section, row, module. Um, all right. So let's say I want to add some of these items to my page. It's really simple to do. If I wanted to add um, a toggle module to this area here I could go to um, add new module instead of adding a new module here I can add it from my library you'll see that I have two items here one's a blurb module one's a toggle module I would pick the toggle module and you see it deploy there um, if I needed to add uh, a whole new section here um, maybe I want to add that blurb section that I have saved so I'll go I click on my new section icon there add from library and now I have a blurb section available notice that only the ones that I can actually use appear in this box so in other words I wouldn't have a module uh, or a row 
uh, appear in here because we're talking about sections at this point. So uh, once that's clicked, click on blurb section. That'll deploy the whole entire section on a click of a button, which is pretty great. Uh, if I, let's say I wanted to add under here um, another row with those blurbs, just a single row. Um, I click on add or insert row, add from library, and there's my blurb row uh, saved here that I can add. Click on it and it automatically adds that single row there. And uh, I can even do it to build uh, brand new pages. So let's say uh, before I do that, let's go ahead and save this section here. This is actually a full width section, full width slider. And I'll go ahead and save that as a full width slider. And maybe it's a slider header. Okay. And this time, well, I'm not going to do that yet. And I'm going to save that to my library. And then I'm going to save this section here, my footer section that has my contact information. Uh, I'm going to save this whole section to my library as well. Um, call it footer contact info. Save that to my library. Now I'm going to go ahead and go add a new page. Call it new page. Then I'm going to use my Divi builder. I'm also going to use the visual builder. Once my blank page pops up here, um, I can go ahead and start building my site using my, or build, excuse me, building my page using my library items. So, so I'm going to go ahead and add a new section. Uh, let's go down to the add new section button down here and click on the add from library tab. You'll see I have multiple sections here to choose from a blurb section. Uh, a full width slider header that I just saved and a footer contact info section. I'm going to pick the full width slider header. That makes more sense to add up there. And I'll delete the section I had above it. So there you go. I have a good start on my web page. Uh, I can go ahead and add another section under here. Add from library. Let's add the blurb section. And underneath that one, we'll add another section add from library and we'll add the footer contact info. So there you go in about, what is that? 10 seconds. I basically created a whole page just from my library items. Um, and of course you would want to go in and custom, uh, or just update all the content really, uh, for these sections. If you're using, uh, this on a brand new website, and change the images and the text, obviously. But this is a great head start. All right, so before I end our overview of Divi Library, uh, let's go ahead and go over what a global module is. Of course, you can go uh, to our documentation on the global module to learn more about the uh, specific usages and all the power behind it. But it is uh, something that I want to mention in, in talking about the Divi library. Uh, so remember, uh, I said earlier that a global module is synced and mirrored wherever they're placed. So whenever you change the settings of a global module, uh, it updates it automatically on all of the pages that you've added to it. So this section down here, it would make sense to add uh, a global module to a footer item. Let's say I want to add this to the bottom of all of my web pages. And um, I can do that. And then whenever I make, you know, changes to it, I can know that it will make the change uh, across everywhere it is placed. So let's go ahead and go in here and I'm going to click on 
save section to library and I'm going to give it a new name. I'm going to say uh, global footer contact info. Then I'm going to click this save this as a global item and I'm going to save to library. Now you'll notice that it uh, highlights it in green now. This is helpful to know. Uh, just to remind you that whatever you edit here, it's going to update on all of the places that you've deployed this global module. Now I'm going to go ahead and save it. And just so you can see it in action, I'm going to go in, uh, let's go to our dashboard here and let's create a new page. Call this page global footer all right and I'm going to use the Divi, uh, visual builder I'm going to click on this add new section add from library and you'll see now I have this green um, option there green section that says global footer um, con uh, contact info that I can add. All right, so I'll delete this one up top. So I've added this uh, global item to a new page. I'll go ahead and save it. All right, and I went back to my original here. And let's go ahead and make a change. Um, maybe, um, you know, we want to change the background image of this section. So I'll go settings go to background and let's give it a new background something like that oh that's hard to read let's go ahead and give it um this one maybe yeah all right so there you go i've changed the background um and once i save this out i'm gonna go to my global footer page that has this global um, item and I'm going to refresh it and there you go so it's changed on this one as well and let's go back to our previous page there it is uh, let's say I want to change the uh, maybe I just want to say contacts not our contacts save that out Go back to our global footer page, refresh, and you'll see it's made the change. So this is very helpful, especially if you have it on multiple pages throughout your site. And um, all right, there's your overview of the Divi library.